Hello, this is a tutorial for making a Flash website. First, input your files into the library. Click the library icon to see the files that you imported. Select a background that you want. As you can see, we picked the gray contrast picture for our background. Drag it to the stage and resize it to fit to the stage. Add the design in front of the background. What we did was we draw a rectangle that has a rectangle radius of 5. We also added a green color for the border. Select the object drawing tool to make the object permanent. Apply your object to the stage and distribute it to layers. Lastly, name the layers to avoid confusion when there are many layers as we move on. The first lesson in this tutorial is to how to make a frame by frame animation. We are going to use the border for the frame by frame animation. First, drag the border until it is off to the stage. Next, press F6 to the timeline to the side of the layer box. Drag the border downward. Do the last two of the steps until your border reaches at the bottom. Then press Alt Enter to test your videos. Pick a picture for your title. As you can see, we pick the purple sparks and resize it to fit in the border. Add a text for your title and also add text for the menu buttons. Lastly, organize your designs. Distribute the text above. To 
second lesson in our tutorial is making a fold. First create a fold. Then place the layers of the form in new text to free up space. The third lesson in our tutorial is applying a motion preset. Click the picture and click the motion preset icon. Click the default presets. There are many motion presets that you can choose. We pick the flying blur for a motion preset. Adjust your picture to make the motion perfect. Then save your file and press again Alt Enter to test your video. Fourth lesson in this tutorial is applying a classic twin. Now let's make the title text move. First, skip at least 5 frames from the text's layer. Press F6. Drag the text to the left until it is off the stage. Click the longer part of the text's layer. Press right click and click create classic twin. Again, save your file and test your video. Organize your flash movie again and let's make the samples page. Let's make the text above move. Skip at least 5 frames from the starting keyframe of the text's layer. Then press F6. Drag all the text to the right until it is off the stage. Click all the longest frame of the text's layers. Right click and click create classic twin. Expand the remaining layers. Save and test your movie. The fifth lesson in this tutorial is easing a classic twin. Easing is where the movement becomes realistic. If you make the ease below zero, the motion at first is slow and suddenly accelerates. If you make the ease above zero, vice versa will occur. Select a twin in the timeline, and below the twinning section at the right side, click the ease. Type what ease you want. We make the ease at 70. Save your file and test your movie. The sixth lesson in this tutorial is converting an object to button. First, right click the home text and click the convert to symbol. Type your desired name of the object. 
Click the pull down menu and select button. Leave the registration and click OK. Do this in the samples, about us, and contact us text. Again, save your file and test your movie. The seventh lesson in this tutorial is making an animation in a movie clip. Now, let's start the samples page. First, expand all the required layers. Then, create a layer for your samples page. Rename the layer to Slides. Click the library icon and drag only one picture to the stage. As shown, we pick the Growing Together picture and resize the picture until it's well fit in the stage. Right click the picture text and click the Convert symbol. Type your desired name for your picture. Click the pull down menu and select Movie Clip. Double click the picture. You notice that when you enter to the picture, the timeline is reset. This is because you're inside the movie clip of the picture. Expand the frames of the picture for making a classic tween. We're making this animation as the slides of the sample backgrounds that we offer in this website. Drag down another picture to the stage. Resize it again and distribute it to the layers 